Arenumab is a monoclonal antibody to the canonical CGRP receptor. It blocks the activity of CGRP by binding to the receptor. Arenumab's advantages, and these apply across the class, I think, is to have an efficacious treatment in migraine that's very well tolerated and with excellent compliance. The Arenumab development program involves randomised control trials, two in episodic migraine, so that's four to 14 days. They were called STRIVE, one was published in the New England Journal last year. The other one was called ARISE, was published in Cephalalgia this year. And a, paper, and a, a, a randomised control trial in chronic migraine, it was published in Lancet Neurology. That, with the phase two study published in Lancet Neurology, formed the, the published clinical data that provided efficacy a tolerability and safety information that the CHMP based their, based their decision on. The rationale behind the Liberty study is the very practical question that neurologists and clinicians have is how to place these new medicines. I think most of us want medicines for people who failed previous preventives. So Liberty set out to study patients who'd failed between two and four previous preventives uh, for migraine. In Liberty what we saw was a, a doubling, on an odds ratio of two between placebo and active treatment for the primary endpoint, which was a 50% reduction in the number of uh, migraine days at the, uh, to, at the 12 week endpoint. So a doubling of the chance on the Renumab that you would, you, you would improve irrespective of the number of preventives you had. What we saw uh, on the safety and tolerability side is exactly what we've seen in the whole development program, which is in effect um, excellent uh, tolerability, a little bit of uh, irritation at the injection sites, perhaps 2.5% two, uh, two of people having some mild constipation, very minor things and certainly no safety signals, consistent with all, what we've seen in all of the monoclonal antibody studies. The big picture implication for the findings in, in, in practice is clinicians and patients are, are going to be looking forward to an era of mechanism-based, if you want, migraine bespoke prevention. For the first time, we we're going to be able to start to say to a migraine patient, you've got migraine, and instead of I treat you with a blood pressure drug or an epilepsy drug or antidepressant, I'll treat you with a migraine drug. So th there's a big difference in the conversation. What we're also looking forward to is to have well-tolerated, efficacious medicines for patients who failed previous treatments. It's exactly what clinicians want.